We're going to run play action here. We're going to take it deep. Can he come down with it? Yes, he does. And we burn the safety over the top. Playful, our big, big, fast guy, comes down with it for a huge gain on the first play of the second half on the play action. They were thinking we were just going to come out the gate running, but no. No. We did not. We take a shot down the field, and it works for us. What's going on, guys? Welcome back to another episode of the Kenny Pickett Player Lock franchise. We are on a tear right now in the NFC East. We're going up against all the NFC East teams. I say that. Uh, I think this is only our second NFC team to go up against this season, but that's you know one of the divisions that we're going up against this season. Let's take a look at the standings because as we talked about last episode, um, you know, we had a couple of teams. Every team in our division, the AFC North, was two and one. And I can see clearly here now that the Cleveland Browns they won their game. They are now three and one. Baltimore lost their game, so they're two and two. And the Bengals, they won their game. They are now three and one. So the game to look out for is going to be Cleveland versus Baltimore. I think what we want to see happen there is Baltimore to win. Um, and then we're going up against the Washington Commanders. And they are two and two. Cincinnati going up against the Giants. Really, any, I mean, obviously, we want to see every team in our division just lose, 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 lose. And, um, you know, who knows? I don't know. The Giants may pull out an upset against the Bengals. Then we got the division games going on there. So it is what it is. Let's take a look and see what this X Factor defensive tackle has to say. Jonathan Allen, it's you and me this week, quarterback. And I'm licking my chops because I own everything between the hash marks, including you. Um, normally, the last couple of times we've done praise and we've disrespected. Let's go intimidate here. We haven't done an intimidation in a while. Let's see what they got to do to us. Let's get one thing straight. You are the soft spot on your defense. Are you going to go around you, through you, over you, whatever it takes to move the ball? Don't get me going, man. Do not get me going this week. It is not in your best interest. I promise you. Uh-oh. That's not good. Game day goal. Beat Jonathan Allen. Allen oh, blah, blah, blah. Beat Jonathan Allen's commanders. Score one rushing touchdown with any member of your team. Ah, simple enough. Najee got a rushing touchdown in the last game. So I think we can really do that. Let's take a look. Are we a leader in anything here? I don't see anything offensively. Deontay Johnson is now dropped down to second and receiving, but only by eight yards. Ooh, but those touchdowns. Holy mackerel. Cooper Cup with seven touchdowns already. We only have four for Deontay Johnson. We spread the ball out a little bit more. TJ Watt moved up. He is now number two in the sack department. With seven sacks on the season. Four tackles for a loss interceptions uh nothing there tackle leaders eh, nothing there so with that being said let's go ahead and hop into a game oh we didn't do our weekly schedule of our weekly um strategy we'll knock this out right quick if anybody any of y'all are following the uh the brand new chicago bears franchise i apologize i missed uh an upload yesterday um as you know or may not know my wedding i'm getting married it is coming up in less than two weeks a week and a half uh, from the time of recording this and uh we had some things we had to get done and uh you know, the plan was to still record an episode after those things were done on a wednesday night after work but um we just we got home way too late and uh ooh, that was a pick and i just it was way too late i couldn't get the recording done in time unfortunately but uh things might be a little sporadic here uh the next like i said the next two weeks with all the wedding stuff i got i got family coming in next week from out of state uh so forgive me if we miss 
Oh, come on, Landry. Uh, forgive me if we miss a couple episodes, but I'm going to do my best, okay? And, uh, yeah. So, looking forward to it. Aaron, what he get is Chase Claypool finishing out the practice strong. Let's go ahead and uh, I kind of want to speed this up here. I'm ready to play. I don't know. Is, should we continue doing these uh, weekly strategies or just jump right into the game? I think maybe from now on, we may as well just start jumping right into the game. I'm really disappointed um, in this like development of Kenny Pickett and the fact that like he's only a, he's in his third year he's only a 74 overall he's still a normal dev trade like what do we have to do uh to to like increase this stuff right like how what do i need to do as a user what do i need to do with kenny pickett to make sure that like he increases this dev trait um I saw a typo. I don't know if y'all noticed that. There was a bit of a typo there. It said 2024 and it said last week or whatever, but there was no space between 20, the, the number 2024 and the word last. I don't know if that's on purpose or not, but I would assume that was a um, typo. All right, we are going into the worst stadium in the league. I have no idea what the Washington Commanders, uh, their, their roster looks like. Who do they have at quarterback? I have no idea. You know, and who do they have at the rest? You know, we're in year three. I mean, I'm, I'm kind of familiar with their team, even that I'm a Dallas Cowboys fan, but it's, um, you know, they suck so bad. It was really, I didn't pay attention to them much in real life this year. But, you know, again, we're in year three. So things have changed. We'll find out as the game progresses. Obviously, we do have to go up against Jonathan Allen. That's going to be one guy that we know for sure is there. I am curious to see who they have uh, under center, number six, so which I don't know who number six is. Is that, you know, I don't know. I don't know who it is. And uh, Jaden Parks with the return. Dicker Dickerson, um, a new quarterback under center. He is their number six there, and he's made a couple of moves there. And uh, they, ooh, big 19 yard reception. That's gonna give them another first down. Antonio Gibson with three yard rush, second and seven, but they lose two yards. Ryan Robinson Jr. And it seems like every time we get them on a third down, they get a big reception for first down and they're slowly making their way down the field. Clay Jones with a pass knocked away. And there it is. We're gonna get the ball back after a fourth and eight. They're gonna kick a field goal, go up by three. That's okay. Now, game, I guess our game plan is going to pa be past the ball today. I don't uh, know much about their defense and how that's um, how that's looking. We do get our first pass off, and it is for a completion. And that's for Pickens. I didn't realize that's who I threw that to. Interesting to see that he has a little action today early on. Yeah, he's in there again. We don't have uh, we don't have our boy Johnson. Is is Johnson hurt? And I didn't realize that he was hurt. Did he get hurt in the last game? Witherspoon is hurt as well. So I didn't realize Johnson. Did he? I don't know if he got hurt last game or got hurt in practice. I don't remember that. So interesting to see that. We're going to have to have some of these other guys really step up. Now here it is, Najee Harris again. Big hole that he could have run towards the sideline, and Pickens would have been a nice block there for him. But he decides to cut it back inside, and although he got a big gain out of it, he had to run over like five people just to get, what, a 10-yard rush on the play? When if he could have just kept that outside, he probably could have got 10 yards and not been touched. It is what it is. You know, I, I complain about it every game. Ooh, ooh, pick it. What are you doing, dude? What are you doing? That was ugly. Oh, yeah, that's a knee injury. That's what it says here. Second and 10. You got to win the game and score a rushing touchdown. And then we get nowhere on the play. 
Lose a yard, actually. That's going to bring up a third and 11, so that's not good for us. we got to get a first down here. Because they, uh... And they had the whole team in the backfield, it seemed like. And we'll go to our signature play here. I don't know if it's going to work for us, but we're going to see. Nobody takes the running back. Harris is going to get a big reception for a first down. Can he pick it? Two for three so far with 29 yards. And I don't understand this play. I try not to, like, you know, I could cheat the system and just run the play every time, but I don't. I'm going to run it when it matters the most. But it just seems like they never cover the running back out of the backfield. We probably really should just run other plays that we dump it off to the running back more on, on other plays too. But there it is. Harris getting four yards in plays. Early on, got three touches for, I believe that was 14 yards. And with a second and six, I think we're going to run a draw here. Harris looking pretty tired back there. And he can't get anywhere. He actually loses a yard on the play. Now we're going to have a third and seven. So, oh, I hate running these plays. I mean, I don't hate it, but I don't think it was the right... Ah, dang it. Got to hit him quicker. Got to hit him quicker, man. He was open, but I got to hit him before that middle linebacker or that safety, whoever that was, was over, over the middle. Now, are we going to be able to kick a field goal from here? Yes, we do. Kick a field goal. We tied up. So at least we got, uh, we got that squared away. Harden with the touchback. And Dickens, Dickerson has a seven-yard rush, so he's a bit of a runner. He keeps running the ball, and... They have two good running backs in the backfield with Gibson and um, Robertson. Brian, Brian, the Brian guy. Big penalty on our defense, CJ Watt, and that's going to give them a first and five. They make a little bit out of it, and they end up getting a first down after two rushes. 25-yard <clears throat> reception to Hartman. That's going to put them down within the eight-yard line, and they're looking to score here as there's an incomplete pass, third and six. We need another stop here. We do. We're going to hold them to a field goal again. So we are definitely bending but not breaking as they get it down in the red zone both times they have the ball. And we hold them to a field goal, which really surprising. We need to do a better job. Or we need to run the ball more to, I think, the right side when we have uh, somebody that's pulling because... Um, Kendrick's there, number 70, really good at pulling with those lead blocks. And there he goes. Harris. Hmm, but not quite where I wanted it. Third and four. We have to get the ball off quick. Do we get enough for the first down? No, it's fourth and inches. All you had to do is reach your arm out just a little bit there, Landry, and you were unable to reach the first down. And he's going to get, uh, we're going to have to, I guess we're going to have to punt it away. I don't know. Let's see what happens. Yeah, we're coming over to the sideline. Man, that sucks. And Huffman, man, Huffman on the left, the left uh, guard, left tackle. Sorry, man. He got manhandled again and it just seems like that's uh, a reoccurring issue so i don't know what they're gonna look do in the off season is, is huffman our guy over there you know this is his second year and it already looks like kendrick's our rookie is a better offensive lineman than this guy oh big sack third and 12 an incomplete pass they're gonna punt it away to us i'm gonna get the ball back here and we're gonna get great hill position See what we can do. Can we, can we get a little play action here? Fryermuth. Not there's not much separation there with Fryermuth, but it was enough to get the completion. And James Daniels 
for 78. He's injured on the play. That could be a costly loss for us on the offensive line. You know, second of one, I think we are I think we're gonna kind of play it a little dangerous here. See if we can get a big, big play for us. And there it is. Farmer does get a little bit of separation. He's gonna get down the field. And that's what we were looking to happen. That's gonna put us on the 20-yard line, and that's a first down. As you can see, some of them bit on the fake. And we had a bunch of people open there. We could have went to anybody on that play. Now coming in, we're on, uh, we got a first and 10 on the 20. Bronco switch called by Kitty Pickett. That's a switch in the uh, direction. And a hole there, but Harris manages to run to the, the edge of the hole instead of to the middle of the hole. And he has to run over a lineman. Second and four, he does get six yards on the play. And it looks like he's gonna get enough for the first down. There we are there. And I'm a little nervous. I feel like we need to, feel like I should pass the ball here, but also I want to get a rushing touchdown. We're gonna dump it off to Craig Morris and not much gain there, a little bit. Second and goal. That's his first reception of the game. We're now on the six yard line. And I see a spot for him to run through, but can he get up and get into the end zone? He does. So we have accomplished one of our goals for the game, and that is to get a rushing touchdown. Now we just got to capitalize by winning the ball game. And we're going to get that XP boost uh, by uh, intimidating Jonathan Allen when he was trying to intimidate us in that text message and uh, we're not going to let that we're not going to let that slide we're not going to take that from him and there it is that's going to put us up 10 to 3 here in the first half what a great drive we did get great field position as we got that ball about midfield and, uh, oh, Thurston injured on the play. That's going to benefit us, I think. Is that on the kick, on the field goal? I guess it was, huh? All right. I'm sorry. I said 10 to 3. It is 10 to 6. Because I forgot they kicked a field goal earlier. Third and 5, and a big sack by Hayward. We're going to get the ball back. What a great field position again. Bad snap on the draw, but Harris, oh man. He like finds a seam and then he, yeah, it is what it is. Oh my God. Thank goodness. These guys can't catch. Whew. Third and five, huh? What do we want to do? Man, I, look at this. Oh, come on. Who are you? Are you covering Landry? Or are you covering the freaking curl route? Give me a break. Why did we call a time? When did we call a timeout? Was that an injury timeout or something? I don't know. Man, and there's a minute left. Oh, man. All right. Well, second to 10 after incomplete pass. Big sack by somebody that's third and 20 they get uh four they decide to just run, they're gonna run the clock out it looks like because they uh decide to run the ball on third and long and that was not a very good route run by chase claypool i would expect it a little sharper You know, a little, a little sharper turn there, but. And 
And he's going to catch that one. Get out of bounds. That's going to give us a first down. We got 37 seconds left. And this is kind of like... Sometimes in these situations, I'm not happy because, I, you know, I like, as a player lock, I like to go with the coach's suggestions because I like to think I'm not the offensive coordinator. There's an off offensive coordinator up in the booth, and he's calling the play down to Kenny Pickett, right? So, um, but when they, uh, I didn't mean to hit X. When they, uh, when they run the same dang play every time, or, the, I mean, not run the same play, but they only offer... Uh, I only offer this one play. You know, it gets a little frustrating. We got a second in, 33 seconds left. And there it is, Landry for the catch. We're out of timeouts? Really? 13 seconds left. We're just going to throw that out of bounds because I didn't call the right play, and that's going to allow us to kick a field goal. I, I kind of did that on purpose. I threw it out of bounds to stop the clock um, because I meant to spike it. Didn't get a proper, I didn't get a proper play call off. Um, but with seven seconds left, we kick a field goal to end the half. Now we're up 13-6, to six, which is great news for us. We're going to run play action here. We're going to take it deep. Can he come down with it? Yes, he does. And we burn the safety over the top. Playful, our big, big, fast guy comes down with it for a huge gain on the first play of the second half on the play action. They were thinking we were just going to come out the gate running, but no. No. We did not. We take a shot down the field and it works for us. And that is that is amazing. I love I love when things come together like that. And Harris, nowhere to run. He loses a yard on the play. Second and eleven. We're going to try to throw it to our big man over there. No, he can't come down with it. Third and 11. A little disappointed he wasn't able to come down with that. I'd like to take a closer look at that. See what exactly happened there. Why Why was he not able to come down with it? We uh, That probably should have been a pass interference, but we're going to let it slide. As Primus still makes a way kind of over there and gets, gets a completion for a, a new set of downs. So he got tangled up with the defender there. Luckily, the defender wasn't playing the ball. He wasn't looking. Now it works out in our favor. Firemuth gets the completion for the first down. I think it's going to give us... Uh, we're on the 11-yard line. Here, going to run it to Harris. Not much there. We're having a hard time really running the ball. Especially here in the second half. And Landry, nobody was taking him. Like, he was open that entire route. So, we'll, uh, we'll dump it off to him. It was just way too easy on that play. Uh, that was my first read. And I just didn't see anybody covering it, except for number 27 was kind of shading over that way a little bit. But he didn't make an aggressive play on Landry. And so, I knew with Landry running that out route, there was no way he was going to be covered. And so, uh, we get another touchdown. We're going to go up 20-6. to six. Here at uh, 731 left in the third. So, man, I'll tell you what, the Steelers looking pretty good this year. We just got to figure out what needs to be done to get Kenny Pickett a uh, development trait upgrade um, and just like developed faster, right? I mean, I think we're, I think we're set pretty strong. We have a good team. Um, I don't think the rest of the division is as good as they have been in the past. And wow, they are just running the ball right down our throat. Just run, 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 run. Is they haven't, have they, have they even thrown a pass yet today? And this, no, I don't think they ever threw a pass in that drive. Maybe, which is interesting. I don't understand why 
why that is. Baltimore Ravens are putting a whooping on the Cleveland Browns down there. And that's good for us. We've already beat the Ravens um, this season. Oh, and they got 28 to 7. Man, we're in a tough spot here, aren't we? We're going to get it off to Landry. He's going to get about eight yards. That's going to bring us to third and one, but gives us a little bit of breathing room um, as we should be able to, I'm hoping, hand it off to Harris for the first down. But we'll take a look. Let's see what uh, Coach wants to do. We'll compare notes. And um, doesn't have any suggestions for us. So let's see if we can run the ball here. I do like this play call. Snap. I see a spot for him. It's enough for the first down. And there it is. So a new set of downs. Can you pick it, making a change at the line of scrimmage? And I think we went after the wrong guy there. That's going to be a second and 10. They're bringing a man down in the box. He could be blitzing off the left edge over here. That's going to open up a big hole for Harris. He's going to get eight yards. Now we're coming down with a third and two. And we get it. Oh, it's a backside shoulder there. Greg Morris. I could have led him a little bit better, but it comes down with a completion. Nonetheless, we're going to take that. I love it. Cincinnati 22 to three over the Giants. Not something we wanted to see, but something we expected. They are a better team right now. Um, that game is still going on, actually. That's going to be the end of the third quarter. We're just going to go ahead and let the clock run out before we call the play there. And it is 20 to 6 here. Let's see. What do we want to run here? I'm going to try a little play action. We're going to get that off to Landry. He gets it right before he gets hit. Can you pick it? 14 for 23. 221 yards already. And uh, a touchdown. Landry, five receptions for 54 yards. And I do think we made the right read there. That was probably our best option. I can't remember, was that last play a play action? I think it was. It was it? Yeah. And I think we went a little too deep on that one. Oh, and Drunk Christian Sr. injured on the play. So our linemen dropping like flies right now. So we got two injured in this game so far. And I don't understand how that is not a pass interference. It just doesn't make any sense. Like what? What has to be done for it to be a pass interference? He got he got his route was stopped. There is no reason that is not. Pass interference. We're going to run the old, uh, what I like to call a triangle route. I don't know what it's actually called. The Harris gets the first down. Man, I mean, that, that's a pass interference, you know? I don't know how they get away with that. What has to be called? What has to be done to get a, uh, a pass interference call in this game? Ooh. Oh! All right. Harris making moves over there. Second and eight. Ah, 
not probably. Oh no, I don't know. Maybe I made the right read there. I like the man. That so sometimes those are tough. Like I, I think I made the right read though. It's hard to say. Third and one. Big play right here. Harris is uh man, Harris is tired. Oh, did he get it? Yes, he did. That's another first down. I didn't wow. Okay. What a great catch with Greg Morse. See the replay on this one is he This guy comes in swatting and I, I thought one, I didn't I didn't think he would be able to get over to it, but then he did, and I was a little nervous by that. They do not. Oh, dang it. I was trying to throw it, but I guess you can't. Wow, okay, but we still get quite a bit of yardage on that. Enough for another first down, so... You guys, I want you to leave me comments down below. Let me know, like, what do you think about the series? Is this still going good? What can I do to improve it, make it better for you? Is it, uh, are you entertained? Is it boring? Um, do I want to know these things? Uh, it seems like this series so far, now I've only put out three videos on the Chicago, Chicago Bears series, uh, but it seems like this series um, is more liked. More people are entertained by this one than the other one, uh, which is fine. Um, and so maybe, I, maybe, maybe running that other series wasn't the right, right call. Maybe I should just keep sticking to this one. Let me know in the comments if that's something you want me to do. Just scrap that one. I could just do that in my personal time and, uh, run this one. And we're going to get, it's going to be out of bounds. Waited a little too long. Maybe I should have ran the ball. Third and five now, huh? Wow, Landry's going to get in for another touchdown. We're just going to freaking stack it on him here. Offense right now is clicking seamlessly, man. They're on, they're like, I feel like we're unstoppable right now offensively. Offensive line's been blocking pretty good. Um, receivers are making catches. Harris has occasionally, like, you know, he's being consistent. Never has a breakout run, but... You know, he, he's going to get you consistent yardage. And uh, we'll take that. Yeah, there's a minute. Or five, I'm sorry. Five minutes, uh, 20 seconds left here. Dominating lead. And I think what, what we'll do. Oh, I can't do it because I'm not the coach. I was going to take uh, Harris out, but I can't. Big sack by TJ Watt. That's going to be third and eight. And complete pass. Bring it up fourth down. We're going to get the ball back. I, I'm, I'm curious. They probably... Looks like they may have went for it there on that fourth down, which... I mean, okay. That's just going to give us... You know. And I think maybe we just... Uh, let's... Let's let's try to... See what we could do. We're going to look at either Greg Morris or Landry. I think on this. And he's gonna oh he stepped out of bounds. Oh man. Greg, you had an opportunity for a touchdown there and you blew it. Look how wide open he is. Yeah, you should complain, coach. Your defense is horrible. They shouldn't have talked trash. All right, four minutes left. I don't like any it give me a play i like well at least it's an incomplete pass and not a sack i didn't realize that was going to be a freaking sh shovel pass what do we want to do here do we want to pass i don't know And uh, he shouldn't have probably caught that, but he does. Another touchdown. Claypool getting in on the action now. 33-6. to six. 
We got full momentum here on an away game against the Washington Commanders. I didn't really see anybody else open. I either should have hit him a little sooner or a little later, but either way, he comes down with the catch. Scores a touchdown. And again, the coach not happy. And uh, we are just putting a whooping on him. And, uh, you know, when we started this game, it was like 6-3 to three at one point. I was getting a little nervous. But we turned the Jets on and, you know, it's all crying from there on out. They just, uh, TJ Watt, what are you doing, man? You're always getting penalties. What, the, what is that penalty? Incomplete pass. So that's going to be a third and 10. Fourth and two after eight yard reception. They do get the first down on a CR rush on the fourth and two. They're going to slowly work their way down the field, but uh, we knocked the pass away. Big reception. Another eight yard reception. So they decided they want to try to score a touchdown before the game is over. It's a little too, you know, it's a little too late. A little too late. But they do. They score a touchdown. They'll probably kick an onside kick here. <clears throat> Greg Zerline getting that extra point. Yeah, we get the ball on the 48 hard lines. They do go for the onside. Don't get it. The Bengals now 29 and 10 in their game. I haven't seen the Ravens score in a little bit. Maybe that'll pop up on the screen here shortly. Ooh, the Jets 31 to 7 over the Dolphins. We're gonna sit here and wait for this clock to tick down as low. You know how low can you go? Ooh, the Bears. 26 to 14 over the Jaguars. There it is, Harris. A nice little run. That's gonna be third and four. We got a final alert. The Falcons beat the Saints. We should be able to just let this clock run out of here. And that's going to be ball game for us. What a, what another game. Two games in a row. The offense has really been clicking here this season. I'm glad to see that. Kenny Pickett, I think this is a second game in a row where he has not thrown an interception. If I remember right, right? I don't think he threw one the last game. Uh, so, you know, we should really, I'm hoping we'll start to see some development from him, but we need to maybe try to start pushing for 300 plus yard passing games. Uh, 283 yards passing on this game, not too bad. And that can't, the completion percentage can't be right. There's no way they had, they completed 81% of their passes and they only scored one touchdown. I just don't think that that would be accurate. So let's, uh, yeah. All right, dude, you're all sad and stuff. I get it. No, 50%. There we go. Can you pick it 60%? I wish he would have done a little bit better than that. Let's take a look at the uh, player stats. Can you pick it 118 on the rating? 20 for 33, 283, 60%, three touchdowns, no interceptions. Didn't really have much of a long one. 51 yards was the longest. I believe that was Claypool. Najee Harris, 20 attempts. You know, he's a guy that gets about 20 attempts a game. That's about average for him, somewhere around in that range. 71 yards, so not the best. 3.5 per carry, so as long as you are getting over three yards a carry, I'm happy with that. One touchdown. He did break seven tackles and had 37 yards after uh, contact. Receiving. Landry, the big man on today, uh, big man on campus today, uh, six receptions for 66 yards. That's 11 per catch and two touchdowns. Big two touchdown game for him. Claypool, 86 yards. He did have that big one earlier in the game. That's 51 yards. Firemuth had, um, oh wow, Greg actually had more receptions than Firemuth. Not as many yards. It's good to see him getting some uh, additional action today. Firemuth, three receptions, 51 yards. Came in clutch when we needed him. And Pickens had the opening reception and not another reception after that, which is uh, which is crazy to think about. 
Kendricks, there's our boy. He's back at it again. One pancake. I mean, this guy could get rookie offensive player of the year. Spidell, another rookie. I forgot about this guy. He had a pancake. He only came in because we had an injury report. Matt Huffman with a pancake. So, young guys getting work done today. But this guy I'm really worried about. I'm not sure he is going to be our guy or not. Because he's, he's given up. Um, he gets flagged a lot, you know. Um, don't really see. I don't see any turnovers. At least not interceptions. Um, our, um, Damian Ross, our rookie here, two tackles. Good to see that there. You know, he's that guy. He's not good at all. Clay Jones, he's been playing pretty good, I have to say. So, all right, guys, that's going to be it for this episode. If you enjoyed it, man, hit the like button. Um, please, please leave me some feedback down below. Let me know what you would like to see me do to improve these videos because, you know, um i'm only as good as the feedback i get so uh if you do enjoy the videos like i said leave a comment leave a like button hit the subscribe button if you want to see more of the kenny pickett player lock franchise go ahead and hit that uh, playlist it's up on the screen now or you can check out the last video that we made up on the screen as well until next time guys y'all have a good one peace